Good morning, I wrap Stina Flynn and Associates with your morning flash update for this Wednesday, the 10th of June, 2020, about 9.15 a.m. Central Time. I'm refreshed, did my three mile walk this morning, so I'm back in the saddle right now. Uh, you know, when I put up my morning subscriber video today, I was telling traders, probably a good day to stay away from the financial markets. You're gonna get the algorithms all over it. You got people evening up going into the FOMC meeting that, uh, remember, we get the statement at one o'clock in the afternoon central time, and then at 1.30, typically the press conference begins and the market will hang on every single word. The market's not expecting the Fed to do a lot more, but there's gonna be concern about that rise that we've been seeing in the 30-year bond. Is the market looking for the Fed to cap rates? What are they looking for there? I think that's gonna be one of the centers of attention. We're seeing drifting, as I like to call it, going on in the grain market, back and forth, but no big moves. Bonds and notes continue their tear to the upside. And when we were put, adding all that yield just a week and a half ago, week ago, actually, uh, I kept saying, watch out, you got an FOMC meeting coming. I don't think the market wants to uh, upset the Fed. Fed, and they didn't. You're still seeing a good move into the euro, the dollar down, and you can see the jump up, especially today, a lot of the metal markets, especially the industrial metals. And that's been my, my core, as I've been telling people. I'm just looking for higher prices out of them, as people have to understand that the mines were shut down, the supply chains, now you've got to get everything going again, and that's going to be the key to these markets. Now, we had the MBA Mortgage Market Index come out. Every category seeing an increase. 11.4% increase in the refi. Uh, the purchase index up 5.3. The mortgage market index itself up 9.3. The conference board. Well, this is still May. Remember that. So it fell because we saw even more shut-ins. We're just opening up now. So that April carryover is what I think happened there. The CPI came out and it came out close to what was expected. I can't get excited about it one way or the other and I don't think the market's going to. I think it's going to look at it and consider all this information, past information in the sense that it was COVID information and now we're coming out. I think the June information is going to get everybody's attention, not the May as much as you might think. Chinese economic data, their CPI of 2.4% on the year versus expectation of 2.6 increase. The, on the month, it fell eight tenths of a percent. Food prices, you know, they're still double digit increases there. And their January through May CPI of 4.1% on the year. So what do you do on a day like today? Go to lunch, go to breakfast, take somebody you like out. Uh, come back to the markets after the Fed chair talks. Take a look at it then. I know that sounds to you. What's he saying? I'll stand by what I just said. Now, one of the things I look at day to day when I'm entering or exiting a market is a pivot point. Do I look at it all day? Of course not. But sometimes I'm looking at a market and I'll say, gee, I've got an embedded slow stochastic trade. And you know if you watch my end of the day wrap ups what I have. How can I get in? My other points of entry aren't working. Sometimes I'll look at this formula and I'm looking at resistance points in red, support points in the blue, the neutral point right through here. I don't just end there. That's what most people do. I tie it together with my slow stochastics. And the reason is I'm looking for that to give me a turning edge. Does it always work? Nothing always works. Does it give me an edge? I believe it does. So if you'd like to learn about this, it's our three-point video series. It's totally free. You might want to also sign up for the Rune indicator because that indicator says there's a market in a trend and going to stay there. It looks at price and time relationships. Very important. How do you get all this? And it said it's free, both of them. Go to our website under free offers. You'll see it there. You can click up here. It'll take you to the free offer page as well. I'm I Rapstein. I'll see you this afternoon. And I will have my videos in focus. I didn't realize I didn't have it on two of them. I had the spider one in focus, not the other. My fault, error. You take care now.